What's up? This is Robert Kelly, and uh, we're here doing another episode of uh, You Know What, Dude? <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know who that is, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, I'm here with... <laughs> I mean, this dude, it's fucking contagious, man. It's, uh, you know what? It's, I fucking hate my laugh. <laughs> Why? I can't stand it, because I, cause I uh, can't help it. Because I get... Here's the thing. I, 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 I'll, I'll say this, honestly. I, I've always surrounded myself, right. when it comes comedy-wise, with like right. guys like you, you know, funny people that make me laugh. Right. And so I... And I end up <laughs> not wanting to be a comedian, just sitting around and just listening. Like, when you were running all the gear by <laughs> them, that just <laughs> makes me like laugh hysterically. <laughs> But so then I end up laughing nonstop, and then I fucking sound like a giggling fool. People would go, go back on O and A, go back on O and A, and just laugh. You just ruined the podcast. With Fuck, you. I'm kidding. Fuck, I know I'm kidding. It does nothing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, well, Bert Kreischer. Thanks. And that's um, how you said. I used to call you Bert Kreischler. That's I called into radio the other day. They were filming right. in West Palm, and I called in, and I, and they're like, "We're here with Robert Kelly." I was like, "Bobby," and they're like, "Why does he call you Bobby?" I was uh-huh. like, "Shut the fuck! <laughs> Who can, how, how does no one know you as Bobby?" Like, well, everybody calls me Robert. Yeah, uh, who's not friends with me? Yeah, yeah, and most of my friends call me fucking dickhead, asshole. <laughs> Uh, fuck you, <laughs> shit, dick, dick smack. Dick yeah. smack. I'm trying to bring dick smack back. So, um, so my favorite Bobby Kelly story. Wait, 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 wait. Come this on, is my podcast. Oh, sorry, 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 right. sorry. You really fucking. <laughs> you get your own show on the Travel Channel. All of a sudden, you take over. This is your documentary. This is my fucking podcast. Yeah, okay, all right, all go, right, go, go. I would, no, no, tell me to go. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna just go. That, see, that's exactly what I'm saying. You understand? I'm okay, going right, when right. I want to go. Okay, all right. So all right. you just wait. I'm listening. I, you li- don't tell me. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what to do. You just fucking sit there. Okay. All okay. right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to go now. Okay. Oh, we're going. Now, listen to me. Um, Bert Kreischer. Yes. I want to give a little, because some of my fans, I mean, I know everybody should know who you are, and if you don't, you're a fucking asshole. We, but we, have, we, we have separate circles of Twitter followers, I'd a, say. A little bit. A yeah. little, I mean, they, they know each other. Yeah. But they've never come together. Like, I, I would say everyone that follows me definitely knows who you are. Right. And everybody so, who follows me definitely knows who you are. Uh, no, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Uh, what are you saying? My followers aren't fucking good no, enough? No, your followers, I don't think, know me. Why? Because your followers are like tough crowd followers. Your followers are true, like... Old school comedy followers. Who's your followers? My followers are like brand new to me. They know me from uh, podcasts, like from Rogan's podcast. Right. Everyone from Rogan's podcast knows who you are. Right. Uh, and they know me from Jay Moore's podcast. And everyone who listens to Jay Moore knows who you are because it's a lot of crossover with the O and A posse. I've only done O and A. But then you once. have you have a whole travel channel. Yeah, oh, the, okay. Well, that's like three thousand followers. Yeah, but that yeah, but that's <laughs> not three thousand followers. But a lot of those people are too old to get on Twitter. Yeah, so oh, they yeah, don't yeah, yeah, use. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. No, I'm no, kidding. no, 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 no. My fans <laughs> like you I hate say when that... a fucking mean joke doesn't work and they take it serious because <laughs> then you just feel like the dick that you no. weren't trying to be. No, <laughs> the, a lot of the people like I said say to people I see the shows I go oh uh, they do something I go hit me up on Twitter and they're like oh I'm just on Facebook and I was like oh, I can't <laughs> fucking Facebook. I I can eat. I can mail you. Do you have, yeah, a, do you have an address? A, <laughs> um, <laughs> do you have a fa- can you take a facsimile? <laughs> oh my god! The other day, the other day we're in we're in uh, Fort Lauderdale. I texted Bobby to. Uh, to find out if what hotel they were keeping us at because I was flying my kids in right. and I wanted to stay at the pool which was a great weekend great right. weekend great, great, um, great hotel great, ho- great hotel great right. club great press everything about that Fort Lauderdale Improv is a dream club right. except, except Thursday night was the worst show I've ever had one really? of the top five worst shows really? ever oh, Thursday night Friday night standing ovation I never get standing ovations. fucking believable I never get standing I don't get them either, but I got one. Seriously? I I, it was one of those, you know, one of I, I wasn't doing this at the end of it. You weren't doing it. You just keep bowing. Thank you. You weren't doing a... Thank you. We <laughs> <laughs> were just waiting for it. You like, can say it. Michael fucking, Jackson, baby. Dude, fucking say it. Who gives a fuck? I'll say it. I Joe said, Coy. <laughs> Joe Coy. So I go to do the... I'm, I want to get back to that. So I'm in the Hartford Im- yeah. Im- Improv, and they're like... Or Funny Bone, whatever it is. Yeah. And I'm in the back, and the manager comes in and after my like Friday earlier show, and yeah. I go, good room. She goes, no, well, we had Joe Coy last week, and he got standing ovations on every show. Like really? That. And I was like, that's exactly what I said. I go, because that is so rare to getting a standing ovation. You earn one. To get one on every show, something makes me feel feel like you're begging for it, or something yeah. is in, in disingenuous happening to make it happen. Right. You're like the the guy who is in Scarface who goes, ah, like this with his well, hands. Well, I'll tell you people who get him. Who? Famous people. Yes. Famous people because, okay, people come out, like a Louis C.K., um, we'll get it. Jerry Seinfeld. Th- those guys get them because they're in a theater, a bigger venue. You're paying 55 bucks for a 55 ticket. 55 to $100 a ticket. Yeah. Dane Cook get, got them. Yeah. 
I mean, it's what you do after a big event. At a comedy club, it's, uh, to get a standing ovation, if you're not famous, yeah. if you're not like, I mean, famous, like, you know, Seinfeld famous or, or Louis C.K. famous, hard to do. Very. Yeah. And so, so the manager tells me this. And as she's telling me this, I'm sitting there going, are you serious? And she goes, every show, he's always getting standing ovations. He's the best comic we've ever had come through here. Okay. And I see the cook behind her, right? Yeah. Black dude. And he's like looking like with his face. I don't know why cool. that matters. So, racist. No, no, no. I, this is no, because because I'm, I'm about to do an accent. And I don't want you. You're gonna go wait. Like, he's definitely black. Either that or her Eminem. So, now this better be a good black accent. So, so she leaves. Right, shuts the door. All of a sudden, the door opens and the cook comes in. You know, with those one of those old Jameson Improv shirts that has grease all over it and the yeah. apron. Yeah. And the the cook pans sticks his head and he goes, "Motherfucker, closed on a Michael Jackson impression. Come on." <laughs> <laughs> I go, thank God this is, this is, you know? That's, so, yeah. Well, you know what, dude? Here's the deal. I, 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 I was surprised. Yeah. I got it. It was fucking like, I'm not, it wasn't those one where that one girl stands up and you go, and you, and the guy points out and goes, thank you. Yes. So you, but then everybody's like, oh shit. All right. Fuck it. You know what I mean? That yeah. standing yeah. over. And there's some guys, I know a guy in Vegas. I used to MC in Vegas at the Harris. He would say at the end of the show, did you guys have a good time? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, usually you stand up. You stand yes. up if you have a good time. That's yeah. how you show the comedian you had a good time. And they all, he would force the standing up. It's the every same time. shit as like, well, they're giving me the light, so it looks like I got to get out of here. No, oh. don't go. Please stick around. One more thing before I go. Yeah. Oh. I know you're here to see Robert Kelly. What? Shut the fuck up. Oh, don't I mention have, my name. I've had people. I've had people go on stage and be like, well, that's my portion of the show. I appreciate you guys coming out to see me. Uh, we got another comic coming up. I'm like. Whoa, motherfucker! I'm the one to impress in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, to go back to the original story is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. We are going back to this. What? I the the, the road that yes. me and you because we're at we're at the road right now. We're yeah. doing the same type of road, so we're running into the same psychological fucking headaches. Oh. So we're going back to that. So okay. go finish this story, but no, we're no, coming no. back. To no, this. no, no. There's no. It, it was such a fucking throwaway. Let's stick on the road because it was just that my daughter answered the phone in the hotel yeah. and said hello, and then I said hang it up, and she didn't know how to hang it up. <laughs> she was like, "What do I do? What do I do?" I go, "You put it on the thing." She goes, "What does that do?" I go, "It hangs it up." She's fucking five. She's never hung up a phone. Isn't that That's crazy? It? That was it. Sorry. That so fuck, anyway, let's go back wow. to the road. Jesus. So yes, I've never. Ever edited this podcast? Oh my I God. might fucking edit it. I might. I actually might go back out and take that shitty Dottie <laughs> Star story out. <laughs> what, are you, what are you on, Bob and Tom? Yeah. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Have you ever done Bob and no, Tom? No, I've never done. Are you that. serious? Mm, no. They're very different than O and A. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. I would imagine, but they're probably nice guys, just very different. Very different. But the, the thing with the, the energy is the same in between breaks. Really? Very, very, very similar. Energy. What do you mean? Like quiet? Yeah, like quiet and like everyone goes their yeah. own way. And I think that's to, to keep it live on air. No, that's, they don't like each other. Uh, really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. No, that's usually what happens in between the radio. Yeah. You know, but I always end up sitting in the room on both shows going like... Uh, Here's the thing is they've been doing it for 15 yeah. years. And every day, five days a week, waking up at five in the morning, seeing the same fucking douchebags. You, you, after a while, it's like, I get it. You're going to yeah. go sit on a couch and do your thing and check your dumb phone. And as soon as you go back on, blah, blah, blah. Let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. After a while. Um, but what my, my fucking thing is on the road, and I'm actually getting better with it now. But the last couple of years, what I went through was, uh, you know, y you... No one gives a fuck. Either you're the headliner selling out six shows or four shows, yeah. making club a shitload of money, or you're going in, putting on one of the best shows that they've that ever, ever seen. seen. And ever they tell seen. you that. They tell you that. Yes. When you get done and they go, you know what? I've seen a lot of shows here. You're the best I've ever seen. Right. It's, I mean, in comparison to who they see, if you look at the bill, there are out of, out of say, one quarter where they have maybe six, uh, 30 acts going up throughout the, throughout the quarter, right. 25 of them are guys that are, are, are should not be doing it anymore. They're mediocre. Yes. They're and then there are five. Yeah. And, and in that 25 are people that are making 80 grand on the for the weekend. I mean, there are guys that are just phoning it in. I'm not saying like big names, but like, I, you, I mean, names that did SNL back in the day, long time ago, but they're still doing the road because they have a mortgage and they just go in, phone it in, but then they're like, oh, well, I saw that guy. Well, here's the thing though, is that guys like me, guys like you, we, we give 100%. Yeah. I'm not going to say 110% because I don't think that exists. Yeah. We give 100%. <laughs> yeah. We fucking kill it. We go up and we try to fucking really level the room. For, not for 
10 minutes and then you know we from the second i open my fucking mouth yeah to this when i say that uh, it's on my time an hour i'm gonna fucking do the best shit i got yeah try to make you laugh yeah okay some guys go in there and just fuck off I, these guys doing three hours by the way you know here you hear this because yeah. i get fucked up because at an hour i'm like wow that's enough yeah. i think a show should be an hour and a half that's it physically somebody can only laugh their body open their mouth yeah and and, and make that um uh, that physical laugh movement for an hour and a half and then you start to get tired and then the checks drop and all this shit happens and you know towards you want the end of the show to fucking go up yeah and end on a strong note but <clears throat> these guys are going for an, uh, three hours. It's not a fucking a killer three hour set. It's an exhausting it, three hours. It's an exhausting. You have to be a fan, a fan. Oh, re- like I, there are very few people I'd watch talk for three hours. Yeah, I'd walk, watch Chris Rock talk I'd for watch three hours. Jesus talk for three hours. I'd watch Jesus talk for and Chelsea <laughs> Handler. The well, you, uh, lo- you no, like <laughs> Chelsea. you like Chelsea Handler? No, I do like Chelsea Handler. You, but have I you been watch on the show? Three hours. No, she won't have me. Really? Yeah, because I I think I'm more man. Like I'm like a too alpha. Yeah, like you, she won't have like fucking alpha male. She has like guys she can beat up, pound around. Like guys right. who trim their beer up to their their beard up to their chin. Like right. those guys. I think I, I asked to be on it because I like the show and I'm good in that kind of environment. Right. And they were like, no. And I was like, okay. And then one of the one of the writers came out to do stand up. Chris Frangiola did stand up with me. He featured for me. Right. And. Went up, had a great set, and then he was like, "He was like, man, you are hilarious. Like, you should come on the show." And I was like, "I'd love to, man. Can you set that up?" He's like, "Of course." And then I had them follow up, and they're like, "Yeah, it's still not happening because yeah. you, you can't. She that show doesn't work with a man. You got to be like the. You got to be like a, a what is it? A beta male? Where like, <laughs> like I mean, everyone's gay on the show. You know, I mean, yeah. like Ross." Like it's the whole show is, yeah. is like, and then the women are men, and then the women are men. So yeah. you can't flip it around and have a man be like, yeah. you know, yeah, easy there, skirt. You yeah, know, it's a fucking softball team. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I mean, I still like the show, and I'd still love to do it, but I'm never gonna get on it. Well, the thing, the thing that like I run into on the, you go on these the road and. You know, you don't bring your guys. You can't bring your fucking... You don't have enough money to bring the MC and the middler. Oh, yeah. Like some of the guys do. Like Rogan brings his guys around. That's the dream. That's is the to dream. get on a tour where it's you and your friends. Because you... I don't know if you've been in this situation, but I was in this... You didn't have to do the road as early as I did. Because I had kids. Like seven years ago, I had started having kids. And I needed money. I was broke. I didn't? No, you, yeah, you didn't Are need you to do the mind? road the way... You always had like TV shows. Uh, what? Tours with Dane. Are like you, you always had... Not- Dude, I've been. Okay, me, hang how on many one second. years have you been making six figures? Hang on one second. How many years have you been making six figures? Six figures? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long that's Probably, been. I'm going to guess. I'm going to ballpark it at seven years in a row. No. Not that. No. Yeah. No. I would say after Torgasm, yeah. So that was what? I would say six after, years ago? After tor- <laughs> <laughs> that was six years no, ago. No, it wasn't six years yeah, ago. Yeah, it was. It was four years ago. Torgasm wasn't four years ago. Two, uh, 2000. When I, but here's the thing, I didn't make money off Torgasm. Let's just put that out there. I didn't make a dime off HBO. Are you serious? I didn't get paid by. I got paid by Dane to do Torgasm before anything happened. When it was supposed to be a documentary, yeah. I got paid uh, like a thousand dollars a show to do twenty shows, thirty days, one boss, four guys. Yeah, me, me, me. Yeah. Right. I got paid that to do just the tour, and we didn't know what was going to happen with it. it was, he was going to make a documentary out of it, make it into a DVD, and sell it off his website. Dane wasn't Dane when we did Torgasm. Which you know, so, is, so then you, yeah. years later, maybe a year and a half later, is when he blew up, HBO stepped in, our special, and then they saw Torgasm, and they were like, we'll take this too. So oh. I didn't get one fucking nickel that's Listen crazy. to me. Not a fucking nickel. When I bro- broke my knee, I used my own insurance. Because really? when we you really when we did that, nobody everybody backed out. When I hurt my knee and I had to get ACL. Yeah.